Hey, what's going on, everybody? Happy Friday. I know a lot of y'all glad that, you know, it's the end of the week. I know I am. But um, I want to speak on this late news about, well, not late news, but latest news on Dr. Dre possibly pretty much is it's pretty much a for sure that he's going to become the first hip hop billionaire. Now we've seen millionaires, you know, have come around from Jay Z to um Sean Combs and Fifty Cent and uh Wiz Khalifa and so on and so on. But we've never had a billionaire. And you know a lot of people are, you know, giving kudos to Dr. Dre. And, you know, my my congrats go out to the brother too, you know, a black man out here getting this paper. You know, I have nothing wrong with that and you know, if you can get some money out of this entertainment industry, get it, flip it, do whatever you gotta do to make sure your family is secure. So, you know, I congratulate the brother on that. But a lot of uh, you know, black people were getting all hyped to buy and everything. Some people was acting like they was actually getting a cut from the money, which you ain't getting shit, especially if it's from Dr. Dre. But, uh, you know, one of the things I wanted to speak about is, you know, I, I'm not getting on here hating on I already know people going to say, oh, you hating on Dr. Dre, you hating on him. And there's nothing like that. But I want to bring to everybody's attention that, okay, yeah, Dr. Dre is going to be the first hip-hop billionaire. From selling the, uh, I believe it's the Dr. Dre. I think he's selling that for like I think three point some million or something like that, along with all the other endeavors that he has going on. But what is he going to do with being a billionaire? Now, me, you know, I, I'm a guy. I don't want to be a thousandaire, a uh, millionaire, or a billionaire. I want to be a wealthinaire. <laughs> you know, and I know that's not a word, but that's my own word that I've made up because I want to have the type of revenue where it would trickle down from generation to generation. It can help people within my community, not just my family. I mean, of course, we want to take care of our family first. But I think as, you know, uh, responsible black men, responsible black women, it's important that we go out here and we try to help those who are not fortunate to be in our, our positions. You know, especially if we're looking at those people as the people who had our back and support us from the beginning. And, you know, I wonder if Dr. Dre really going to do that. You know, I, I, I'm not talking about that USC bullshit because that's a white-based school. He basically was giving money to support white kids. You know, we, we are, if you out here in L.A., you know USC is a white-based school. But I wonder if Dr. Dre going to take this money and create wealth, start creating certain jobs within the black community. You know, we saw what Magic Johnson did. He tried, and I respect that brother for that. You know, back in the 90s, he had um, the Magic Johnson Theater. He had the Starbucks. Uh, for you guys that live out here in L.A., you remember in the uh, Ladera area, he had the Fridays popping off over there. He basically owned pretty much that whole shopping center. So if Magic tried to do it, he did create jobs and opportunities within the community. Did it last? No. It could be because of business moves. Because It could be because the economy crashed and... You know, uh, when that happens, certain revenue is taken out of the budget to what you use to distribute certain um, products and, and, and use to keep your business flowing. So, you know, it is what it is, but, you know, he did try. And I wonder, is um, Dr. Dre going to do that? You know, before we come out here and we start, you know, uh, basically kissing his ass because he's going to become the first... Uh, hip hop billionaire, we need to ask him, you know, okay, what are you going to do? What are you going to do to help those who support you when you was just Andre from NWA? What are you going to do to support those people or help out those people that support you when you drop the crime? You know, the first crime. I'm not talking about the 2001 crime. I'm talking about the first one. You know, those people, those people from Compton, those people in LA. And, and, and black folks all across America and even outside the country, but I want to focus right here in America. What are you going to do to create wealth and, and, and create and, and give back something to those people that support you from day one? And that's the type of stuff that, you know, I ask myself because, you know, we can go get out here and, you know, I mean, it's cool, you know, the brother getting his money and, you know, becoming the first hip hop billionaire. But at the same time, what does that do for us? And, you know, I know that uh, these celebrities out here are not um, responsible for doing things like that. But I think it's, it's, 
it comes a time when us as consumers, we have to sit back and say, hey, you know, man, you know, we made you, we made you a millionaire. You know, we supported you so that you can get that crossover success. You know, we've made you a billionaire. Okay, now, you know, do something for us. Start taking some of that money, you know, getting some type of ownership with these companies, demanding that they employ black people. Because even when we look at these uh, fast food joints out here, you know, I'm going to keep it real. A lot of the Hispanics are taking those jobs. You know, I, have, I haven't been all across the country, but I've been, you know, down south. I've been to the East Coast. You know, I've been to, uh, you know, different states. And it's the same thing all over. So, you know, I think that it's time that, you know, black folks who are in power and even those who just have a regular 9 to 5 job, it's time for us to start keeping our dollar black and start investing those dollars so that we can create a better generation and create a better future. Because, you know, a lot of these people, they'll take the black money and take the black support, but when it comes down to helping us, it's an issue or you, know, you don't hear from these people. So, I mean, that's just something that, you know, I want to, you know, put on everybody's mind. Like I say, you know, I congratulate the brother, but, you know, at the same time, I really question it because I doubt if Dr. Dre does any of that. Yeah, he, you know, gave some money to USC, but like I said, you know, that's that's a white-based school and it's tax write-off. You know, anybody who knows anything about taxes and how this game works, you know that. It's time for us to start taking that money that we've generated and putting it back into our communities because that's why we have a lot of violence out here and people want to talk about Chicago and shit right now or Philadelphia or what's going on in LA with the gangs a lot of these brothers like I said in my previous videos it's lack of opportunity yeah you can go to school and get your education that's all good but what do you do in the meantime? A lot of these brothers come from broken homes. You know, they have uh, they, they in single parent household. They got to put something on the table. You get 18, you know, especially 21. You just, let's say you still live in that home. You know, you want to be able to contribute. You don't want, you know, your mother, she's holding everything down by herself. Or even your father, you know, they're holding everything down. You don't want to be sitting in there just, you know, going to school. And, you know, you damn near got your nose barely above water. These brothers need opportunities out here. These sisters need opportunities. So I think that's what should be our main focus right now. We need to stop pointing the finger and talking about, you know, blaming. Oh, well, it's the, it, it, it's, it's the, uh, it's just the government or these kids just don't know how to act or the fathers are not around or it's a single parent house or you no. Know, a lot of this boils down to economical things. We need to start creating opportunities where these people can go out here. And black folks can go out and, and, and work and be able to earn a living. In the meantime, you can go get a trade and do your education thing. But these people need money right now. They don't want to hear that bullshit. Oh, it'll be all right or just go to school. No, not, not if you got a, a bill that just came in and said past due and they're getting ready to cut your damn lights off. <laughs> you know, don't nobody want to hear that. People need money right now. And that's why a lot of them, you know, the ones that don't know how to, you know, keep a strong mind or invent a hustle or do whatever you got to do, they go out and they sell the drugs because it's fast money. So, you know, for those moguls like Dr. Dre, 50, Diddy, Jay-Z, all them cats, you know, it's time that these guys come back to where they started and start investing, start creating wealth. We need to get out of the mindset of trying to be rich, but we need to start creating wealth. That's what we need here in this country. And even those people who are not mega celebrities, you know, if you, if you out here showing off your car, talking about what you got, how comfortable you are, how much money you make, start investing in your community. And that's another thing we have to stop looking at these moguls to do everything because, you know, at the, at the end of the day, a lot of these people don't give a damn about it. They see everybody, white, Hispanic, black, as a dollar bill. That's it. So we, as a community, to come again and start putting our dollars together and start creating and start helping our communities. If it's nothing but, you know, $100 a month, you know, that's a start. But I will leave a link in the description box if you guys want to read up on Dr. Dre and his uh, endeavors. But this is just something that was on my mind. I felt like I want to come out here and, 
you know, just give everybody a heads up on this because, you know, yeah, it's cool you getting this paper, but at the same time, what does this do for you? What does this do for our generation? How does this secure our future? Being that we are the same people that made him filthy rich. But I'm out.